You're welcome back. Uh, like I said, we'll be looking at making room for disability and disability issues in governance. And we're glad to be joined this morning by Shedrach Dan Laddie, the Project Officer Disability Inclusion in Governance, Kaduna State. Uh, good morning and welcome to the program, Shedrach. Yeah, good morning, my pleasure. Okay. We also have on the line uh, Rose Daniel, Project Officer, Disability Inclusion and Governance uh, in Abuja. Good morning and welcome. Good morning and thank you for having me. Okay, let's begin with uh, uh, Shedrach. Um, everything about the two of you has to do with uh, a project, sort of, your Project Officer Disability Inclusion in Governance in Kaduna, and Rose is also Project Officer Disability Inclusion in uh, Abuja. So let's get an insight into what this project um, uh, of disability inclusion in governance is all about. Let's get an understanding. Oh, once again, thank you for the opportunity. Okay, let me remain with you before I go to Rose. Um, you're saying, uh, I had the understanding that maybe it's for everybody, but you're talking about women with disability inclusion in governance. Are you saying the, the men are comfortable with this? No, we're not really actually saying men with disabilities are comfortable. But we are having a special focus on women with disabilities. The uh, reasons are um, a woman with disabilities is 10 times vulnerable than a man with uh, disabilities. So the vulnerability that surrounds women with disabilities, the marginalization, the sentiment against them is on the increase. So that's why we have a special focus on them on this project. That does not mean that we are not involved in involving men with disabilities in this project. Mm. Okay, let me go to Rose now. Rose, um, you are uh, the project officer in Abuja. How far so far? What is the level of, uh, of engagement you have had already with the government or all the relevant authorities to make sure that this thing comes to be? Or are you just starting with what you're doing now? Thank you so much for this question. Yeah, we have done a 
When you talk about inclusion, what, what do you really mean? To be given elective positions or to be given appointments or to be, to be listened to any time that you have a complaint? What do you really mean by this inclusion you're talking about? Okay, uh, Shedrach, uh, how are you taking on the government regarding what Rose has just said, uh, that there is supposed to be a percentage that is reserved for the people with disability, and this is not being adhered to, either by the state governments or individual companies and all that. So how do you fight this out? How do you, how do you make sure you address this issue that is happening to uh, the people living with disability being... Um, robbed, if I may use the word, of their positions in uh, our in the running of things or day-to-day -day life. This is assuming that um, everybody that is living with disability will be on the same page and say the things that you need in that space. Uh, why I'm saying this is, it does, is it 
is it all, does it always follow that if a woman, for instance, is in government, all the women will have a new lease of life. If a man is in, is in government, all the men will enjoy. And now you're saying if the people living with disability are given the opportunity in governance, will it now translate into the people living with disability having a better lease of life? Finally, let me just ask you this finally. Uh, let's assume that you are given, a, a person with disability is given this opportunity at the National Assembly, for instance. What do you think will be said differently from what they say uh, now about people living with disability? If it were you, for instance, what would you tell the National Assembly that has not been said already about people living with disabilities and what their rights are?
Okay. All right, Rose. Um, I think you've ma made your point. And until that time comes when uh, you will get what you seek right now, we do hope that the people who are already in government will look into issues that they are neglecting or maybe they are not knowing. We will lend our voices with yours and call on the government and all the relevant agencies to do the needful, whether it be it for transportation, health, education, and everything. We hope that you get what you seek. Thank you so much, Shedrak Danladi, Project Officer, Disability Inclusion and Governance in Kaduna State, for coming on the show. And Rose Daniel, Rose Daniel, also Project Officer, Disability Inclusion and Governance in Abuja. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Okay. Now, uh, we have been talking with uh, uh, Shedrak and Rose on uh, making room for disability and disability issues in governance, and they're calling for a quota uh, to be given to them so that they will also be at the decision-making table. And that is how we wrap it up on the show this morning. On, in, on behalf of my entire team of Breakfast on Plus TV, my name is Nyamgul Agaji. Let's do it again tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>